Namo Buddhaya. Dear Dharma friends, now we have come to the meditation session to meditate, to practice uh, loving kindness meditation. So, uh, why not we practice loving kindness and uh, develop my loving kindness to overcome hatred? So, now uh, sit in a comfortable posture. Uh, find a good place for you to sit. If there are adults, uh, who has difficulties to sit on the floor they can sit on a chair don't lean mm, if it is really di difficult to uh, sit without leaning if you are too old or having any sickness you can lean uh, but then the ones who are energetic the one the young ones can sit on the floor and uh, make yourself comfortable with the posture so I think you all know how you should uh, sit. The real posture is uh, like you can cross your legs and keep one palm on the other palm and then uh, close your eyes and contemplate on the meditation object. And uh, Buddha taught in the Karnimata Sutta also uh, there are four postures you can practice uh, loving kindness meditation. The Buddha preached in the Karnimitta Sutta, Tittam Charan Nisin Nova, Saya Nova, Yavata Sivikata Middu. So, whether standing, walking, or sitting, lying down, or whenever awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling, that is the loving kindness. So, uh, remember while standing, walking, sitting, and lying down or whenever awake we can practice this loving kindness meditation so there are four postures so try to choose one of the postures that will calm your mind so when you practice this one of these postures if that is not calm your mind try to change the posture try to change the posture and practice it so find a good posture now i will close my eyes if you wish to close your eyes uh, you can close your eyes. The advantage is when you close your eyes, you will have less distraction to your mind. Now listen to me and think according to what I say. May I be free from anger. May I be free from ill will. May I be free from jealousy. May I be free from mental suffering. May I be free from physical suffering May I live in peace May I live happily May all beings, dear listeners, pay your attention to the meditation object. Don't run to the past. Keep the mind in the present. Follow the meditation object. And try to develop genuine thoughts of loving kindness.
once again listen to me and think according to what I say. May all beings in this place be free from anger, be free from ill will. Be free from jealousy. Be free from mental suffering. Be free from physical suffering. May they live in peace. May they live happy. May all beings in this city, if your minds are distracted, at least whisper. You can whisper silently. May all beings in this city. Be free from anger. Be free from ill will. Be free from jealousy. Be free from mental suffering. Be free from physical suffering. May they live in peace. Happily, may all beings in this province be free from anger. Be free from ill will. Be free from jealousy. Be free from mental suffering. Be free from physical suffering. May they live in peace. May they live happily. May all beings 
in this country. Now think about all the beings in this country. Humans, animals, creatures, birds. Think of all the living beings in this country. Have the hope of spreading loving kindness to all the living beings in this country. Develop genuine thoughts of loving kindness. Overcome thoughts of hatred. Overcome thoughts of harming others. If we only have thoughts of loving kindness, loving kindness, how can we harm others? Imagine if our mind is only with thoughts of loving kindness, will we ever feel like harming others? So we should cultivate wholesome thoughts and firmly establish like a strong pillar in our mind. So let's practice loving kindness meditation. Let's continue this. May all beings in this country be free from anger. Be free from ill. Be free from jealousy. Be free from mental suffering. Be free from physical suffering. May they live in peace. May they live happily. Dear listeners, we could not be able to offer dana to all the beings in this world but yet we can practice loving-kindness. We can spread loving-kindness towards all the living beings in this world. What a great opportunity! Now think of the whole world. May all beings in this world Be free from anger. May all beings in this world be free from anger. Be free from ill. Be free from jealousy. Be free from mental suffering. Be free from physical suffering. Happily, may all beings in all worlds 
be free from anger. Be free from ill will. Be free from jealousy. Be free from mental suffering. Be free from physical suffering. Be they live in peace. Me they live happily. May all be. Be well and happy. Slowly open your eyes. Dear Dharma friends, so we meditated, we practice loving kindness meditation. More than Buddha said, uh, than offering dana, than offering 100 vessels in the morning, 100 vessels in the afternoon, 100 vessels in the night, it's fruitful and more beneficial practicing loving kindness meditation for an instance of, for a moment of taking milk from a cow. We did that. So be happy today. We practice loving kindness meditation. And uh, we gain a lot of merit for our lives by learning Dhamma and by meditating. So may all gods rejoice in this merit. May they protect us. May they help us to overcome this miserable situation in this world. And may all devas realize the four noble truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And may all the departed relatives rejoice in this merit. Be well and happy. Have happiness. And escape from suffering as soon as possible. Sad, sad, sad. And may my teacher, most venerable Kiribat Guru Nyanananda Mahathera, Valoka Samin Vahansa, be well and happy, have happiness, and realize the Four Noble Truths in this Gautama Buddha's dispensation. Sad, sad, sad. And may everyone who took part in this program be well and happy, have happiness, and realize the Four Noble Truths. In this Gautama Buddha's dispensation, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Dear listeners, you have a chance to ask questions. So you can write your questions to our email address. The email address will appear in the screen. And uh, today itself, uh, within the course of the day, we will answer your questions. So please do not hesitate to write to us and clarify your doubts. Namo Buddha. Hope to see you again tomorrow.